I recently did a video on 10 underrated artists and as expected you guys came up with some brilliant suggestions that didn't make it into the initial video. So here it is, 10 singers that you guys consider underrated. We went all the way through the comments on the previous video and there were loads of great suggestions. There were some that I had already heard of, but also a few that I didn't know as well. And I have to say, either way, you guys have picked some incredibly talented singers that the world should definitely know more about. I have linked all the artists in this video in the description with a clip of my favourite examples of them and I've also put a link to the initial 10 underrated artists video if you'd like to check that out. But please do keep on sharing your suggestions on your favourite underrated artists. It's been a pleasure listening through them all and I'm sure people watching will love to hear your ideas as well. Hayley Reinhardt came up a lot in the comment section and it's easy to see why. She has such control over the textures in her voice, whether it's a warm jazzy resonance or something more breathy and sultry or that roar gritty growl that she has, a powerful belt or a soaring head voice, she really has it all in terms of textures. Initially, Hayley became known for performing on American Idol, but I love her work with the YouTube channel Postmodern Jukebox, where her vocal creativity really comes alive, combining vintage vocal stylings, including a little bit of scatting, with the soul and feeling of each song. I really suggest checking out her cover of Creep by Radiohead. Now, I hadn't heard of Mariah Formica until you suggested it in the comments, and when I listened, I knew I had to add her to this list. Now, Mariah was a contestant on The Voice USA and has this incredibly powerful, balanced mix. She moves between this warm, gritty texture at the lower end of her voice to a really high, punchy rock belt mix. I suggest checking out her version of Heart Barracuda I mean, you know someone's going to be good when they cover Anne Wilson. I actually reacted to this guy a while back and was stunned by his vocal range. Now this Belgian singer is well known in France and Belgium, but I certainly wouldn't have known about him if it wasn't for you guys suggesting him. Loek was a contestant on The Voice Belgium in 2014 and then represented his country at Eurovision a year later. He has an incredibly high androgynous voice and was in fact bullied as a teen for how feminine his voice sounded. He often draws from that period of his life with a dark aesthetic and themes of isolation and judgment in his songs. There is a brilliant and heartbreaking live version of his song Million Eyes on YouTube. And if you like dancing, he's also a great dancer. He showcases that in the music video. Elle King has recently become quite well known for her songs X's and O and Drunk and I Don't Wanna Go Home. And whilst these songs are absolute anthems for a Saturday night out, I don't think it shows the vocal and emotional range that Elle is capable of. I recommend you check out her singing A Little Bit of Loving live in London to see what I'm talking about. The depth of emotion and versatility here means I also think she's underrated, even if some of you already know her name. Morten Harkett is someone that some of you may know as well. He's lead singer of Norwegian pop rock band AHA, but his gentle yearning vocals often get overshadowed by the power of other 80s singers. Morton was recently on The Masked Singer UK and it reminded me that although his voice is gentle, it can be incredibly hard hitting. There is never any doubt that Morton means every single word he sings and feels every note. There is a fragility and rawness that sits really interestingly with his gentle tongue. 
I recommend checking out his MTV Unplugged version of Take On Me. Arnell is currently the lead singer of the iconic band Journey and lots of you will have heard his vocals but he's often overlooked because of the prowess and popularity of their previous singer, the iconic Steve Perry. It was going to be a hard job for anyone to take over. Now Arnell isn't exactly like Steve, he approaches the fiendishly difficult journey repertoire in his own unique and thrilling way and I personally think he's just as good as Steve. There's a wonderful version of him singing Don't Stop Believing with a band that you can check out, but my personal favourite is his version of Faithfully. Just a little Before I researched this video, I thought I didn't know who Peebo Bryson was, but once I did a little bit of research, I realised that his voice was a lot more familiar than I thought. He sung on the titled track of Beauty and the Beast with Celine Dion. Peebo has a beautifully rich tone and amazing control, and is best known for being the other half of some amazing love duets with well-known singers like Natalie Cole, Minnie Riperton, Roberta Flack, and Chaka Khan. My favourite is his cover of A Whole New World with Regina Bell, where you can hear that silky tone, his control, and some really technical riffs and runs. Most people have heard of the ethereal Celtic singer Enya, but her older singer Moya is lesser known. In fact, Moya is the oldest of nine siblings, three of whom collaborate with her in the band Clanad. If you don't recognise Clanad, you'll probably recognise their work in film and TV with their theme from Harry's Game and I Will Find You from the film Last of the Mohicans. There is a beautiful live version of the latter on YouTube. Moya's voice is beautiful, warm and earthy, and certainly equals Enya's. Aina Solberg is the lead singer of the band Leprous, a band that's gaining more and more traction on YouTube over the last couple of years. Their music ranges from aggressive pop rock anthems to beautiful Scandinavian ballads with a through line of Einar's soaring vocals. Einar is capable of incredible highs and changes of pace and tone and whether he's delivering something rocky and angsty or a beautiful melody, there's always something otherworldly about his voice. I recommend checking out Castaway Angel to hear the full extent of Einar's impressive range and the live version of Slave for something rockier. I was so pleased when this woman came up in the comments because I truly think she is one of the most talented underrated artists and I actually came across her this year on the Jules Holland New Year's show where I was absolutely blown away by her power and tone and was surprised that I didn't know her before. Ruby has had success in the past, achieving number one in the US R&B chart in 1990 with It's Gonna Be Alright, and performing backing vocals for Mick Jagger and Jules Holland, but with a voice like hers, she really does deserve more recognition. My favourite performance of hers is that initial one I saw of hers on the Jules Holland Hootenanny, Well Alright. Check it out. So there's your 10. As I said previously, there are so many more singers that deserve more recognition. So please do share your ideas in the comments. I will certainly be looking through and I think people watching will love to know your suggestions. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe. Once again, big thanks to my patrons. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be able to make these videos. If you would like to check out my Patreon, go to patreon.com com slash Beth Roars but for the meantime see you in the next one. Bye!